opportunity to share some final words with each of you. As we sit here today, let us not only look forward to the journey that still lies ahead, but also take time to re reflect on the journey that got you here today. When each of you came to the Chef's Academy, you came not knowing many, if any, of the people sitting around you today. You all had different backgrounds, different interests, but on the first day you were united with one common passion and thought and to finally pursue the dreams that you had been building in your hearts that will lead you to a different path in life. I would like to introduce Chef Brandon Hamilton, who will now lead us in the Culinary Code. As a proud member of the American Culinary Federation, I pledge to share my professional knowledge and skill with all culinarians. I will place honor, fairness, cooperation, and consideration first when dealing with my colleagues. Chef Tony Hanslitz will now present Val Victorian. It's uh, my pleasure to announce a Val Victorian um, uh, 3.96 point grade average goes to Jamie Majeswick. We'll begin with guest speaker. Chef Glenn Brown. Hello, friends. Today I'm going to talk to you about leadership. But before I start with leadership, I want to read again uh, what's on the front of your uh, uh, commencement program. It says, when it comes to the future, there are three kinds of people. Those who let it happen, those who make it happen, and those who wonder what happened. All right. Today is a culmination of an 18 month journey that you started. And that journey says that you are one of those first two individuals. You are one that makes it happen, and you never worry about or stand around to wonder what happened. That means your success is going to be based on your leadership and then your management. In most situations, you're going to have to do both. In the kitchen, culinarians, we say what? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. At this time, I would like to introduce our second guest speaker. Jokima Hiller. Good morning, graduates, parents, family and friends, staff and faculty. It is a great honor to be able to speak to you all today. To get started, however, I do need your help. Who remembers the rhyme about Jack and Jill? A nursery rhyme in its basic form teaches children a number of lessons that oftentimes remain with us for a lifetime. Here it is almost, what, 20, 30, 40 years for some of us, learning those rhymes, and most of us can still recite them. Sesame Street, Electric Company, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Lamb Chop, The Reading Rainbow, Dora the Explorer, and even Barney, these programs have helped raise today's adults. Back to the Basics represents simplicity. Here are some of those basics that you may have learned along your educational journey. Have a desire to please. This is the service industry. Be passionate. Call the guests by name. Say please and thank you. Wash your hands so you don't kill anyone. <laughs> Andrew C. Brownlee, Jr. Benjamin P. Gibson, Hospitality and Restaurant Management, Honors Graduate, Hampton in Northeast Castleton. Lauren J. Strother, Pastry Arts, Highest Honors Graduate, Ocean Prime. Tasha M. Payne, Culinary Arts, St. Vincent Hospital and Healthcare Center. Charles A. Lyles, Culinary Arts. 